Hey everyone, this is Jennifer of Silhouette Sisters, and I'm here today to show you how to take an image that you have purchased from My Vinyl Designer and use it to layer a vinyl image with the assistance of registration marks in your Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software. This tutorial will begin with the assumption that you already know how to import a purchased SVG file from My Vinyl Designer into your Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software. If you do not, please refer to my other tutorial on the My Vinyl Designer YouTube channel titled SVG Silhouette Studio Software Tutorial. I would like to make a 5x7 design to frame to give as a gift, and I have chosen this cute alphabet sampler from My Vinyl Designer. I'm going to make this two colors, so I will add registration marks to assist me when layering. This will ensure everything lines up perfectly. Then I will apply it to cardstock and frame it. So I've added the My Vinyl Designer image to my page, and I'm going to ahead and prepare it for my project. First thing I'm going to do is select it, and I want to resize it. I'm going to make it a 5x7 framed print. So I'm going to go over to my scale function here. I'm going to highlight it, go over to my scale function, and I want the width to be 5, and I want the height to be 7. And I'm going to apply it. And that should be good for the opening of my frame. Next, I want to ungroup it so I can work with things individually. I'm going to do Control U, or you can go up to Object, Ungroup. And when you do that, you can see everything um, highlights by itself. So I think I'm going to keep most of it black and then highlight a few areas with red. I love the way red and black look together. So I'm going to start here with this heart. I'm going to make that red. I'm going to make this heart red. This heart red. And because I'm going to give this to someone special, I'm going to take the I and make that red, and the U and make that red. So you can see I don't have a lot of wiggle room here, so I want to make sure I add some registration marks so when I layer the red and the black, everything lines up perfectly. I'm going to group this back together for now. I'm going to do Control G or you can go up to Object and select Group. And This is just so I can move everything around and nothing gets out of alignment. Now I'm going to add my registration marks. Now some would prefer to just cut the black layer and the red layer and just kind of eyeball it. And then there are others like me who have to get everything perfect. So I add registration marks to assist myself. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room on top, and I'm going to add two squares. One, and I'm going to select that and duplicate it to the right, move it over here. And just so you can see those better, let's color those in. Okay. So I'm going to select this one and the whole body of the print and I'm going to go over to my line function I just hit a line left and I'm going to take this one select the image and do a line right and then I just want to make sure my squares here are lined up so I'm going to align those to let's do the bottom okay so now's the tricky part is we have to take this image apart so that we print the black with the registration marks and then we print the red with the registration marks so let me show you how we go about doing that. I'm going to take this and I'm going to ungroup it. We can go to Object Ungroup or you can do Control U. And I'm going to go over to my cut line settings. So I want to actually do the everything, the registration marks and everything in black. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to unselect by holding down my Shift key and clicking on those red elements. Oh, I think I shifted it a little bit, so I'm going to do undo. There we go. Click that U again, and then this little heart. And I'm going to hit cut. So you can see it's going to do most of the alphabet, except for the heart, the I, the heart, the U, and then the little heart here. And this is what this layer will look like after I've cut it and then weeded it. Now it's time to do my red layer. 
without moving anything on my page, because if we were to move anything, things would not line up correctly. I'm going to select everything, do no cut, so everything goes off. And now I'm just going to select the red elements that I want to do. Everything is selected. I'm going to go back to my squares and select my, oops, see, now that shifted just a little bit. So I'm going to hit undo. Okay, there, there. There, there. Great. And that will be cut. Now that's our red layer. I'm going to go ahead, apply some red vinyl to my cutting sheet, pass it through my silhouette sheet. And this is what it looks like after I've cut it and weeded it. Okay, so I have my two layers weeded and ready to go and you can see they both contain registration marks and I've already pre-cut a piece of clear contact paper that I prefer to use when trying to layer everything up. So first thing I'm going to do is take my clear contact paper and put it over the first image. I prefer to layer the black on top of the red so I'm going to do that first. I'm going to go ahead and take my burnishing tool and rub that very well. She also mentioned I prefer to work on top of my silhouette mat. I like the sticky surface so that it doesn't move around. Now I'm going to slowly peel that up. And if it doesn't come up, okay. So that part is done. I'm going to put it off to the side carefully. Take this part off. I have my second layer ready to go and I've taken my first layer and I've added the backing from my contact paper to cover everything up except the registration marks because I want to make sure I line these up correctly and then I can go ahead and remove the backing. So I'm going to eye those. They're lined up perfectly. Now I'm going to flip that up. Remove the backing. And very slowly and carefully add the black layer on top of the red layer. And I'm going to go ahead and burnish these red pieces. and pull it up. And at this point, it doesn't matter if the registration marks come up on the contact paper or not because we have a perfectly layered image. So now we're going to take my cardstock because I'm going to make this a frame print and I'm just using a plain white cardstock untextured because I think it sticks better. I'm going to the image on there and I'm not too worried about it being straight because I can go ahead and trim this with my trimmer to be 5x7 to fit in the frame I have selected. Burnish that onto the paper. Carefully remove the contact paper and there you have it. I have a perfectly layered Final image using two colors. I actually used a Merlot by Green Star for the, the red. And I'm going to go ahead and trim this up to 5 by 7 and put it in my frame. Thank you all for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. I've certainly enjoyed making this little print to give as a gift. And please visit me at SilhouetteSisters.com. Thank you.